Yeah. The purpose of this is not only to um, give the queen more mobility, but um, this is the English opening. As you can normally tell, D, the d5 and e5 square are normally really important. And um, players tend to develop their knight to c3, however this blocks the c-pawn. You know what I mean? So it's practically useless until the end game. But if you, if you push c4 first, and then you move the knight outwards. Even though these two squares might be slightly weakened, as you can tell, right? You can tell the difference. Because of the pawns here, these two squares are protected. Yeah? Okay. I'd like, I'd like to reply. Yes. So, <laughs> c4 and then knight c4. to c3. Knight to c3. Um, obviously, every move in chess has its advantages and disadvantages. The advantage here is that the d5 square would be strengthened, as well as the b5 square. And it gives the queen mobility. But, but since I just said it, can anybody tell me the disadvantage? The defense. Well, this, too. No, no, no yeah. disadvantages. Disab disadvantages. Yeah. Yes. Defense for these two. Yes. Yeah. These two squares become yes. weakened. This applies for any pawn. Any pawn movement will weaken these two squares. Which is theory number two I taught you guys last week. Never push the three king pawns. Wasn't that three or two? Three, two okay. Like yeah. okay. So the most common reply to c4 is uh, black moves his pawn to e5. To, to avoid the, the pawn from coming down even more. Knight c3 is to move, to prevent the pawn from moving down even more. Um, the, the most common reply black would play after knight to c3 is knight to f6 to gain more central control, which is the main purpose of the game. Um, this is called a fianchetto. Fianchetto in English. Cheto. Fianchetto. Okay, fine. Cheto in English, but cheto in <laughs> Italian, which is the language orange it came from. Most of you, uh, I'd assume, is I, I'd assume develop your bishop after playing, after pushing the e-pawn and then moving it out this way, right? Most of you do this. Have you ever considered the possibility of developing it here? That's why I do. Yeah. That's good, that's good. This, this is called is, Fian Kettle. Yeah, this is Bishop. the longest diagonal on the on the board. But is it going to be weak, like never move to a three-pawn forward? Uh, this, is, this is what I was going to tell you guys. Um, this could be the exception. Fian Kettle, <coughs> the only exception. Because the bishop technically strengthens it even more. Like these pawns, these two are weakened, right? But the bishop has it has it covered as well, as well as these two. So the king's side's actually slightly more protected. Can anybody tell me the purpose of why I would like to play bishop to g two? To control this game. That is that the is longest, the longest diagonal, yeah. But then can you see another reason to it? He explained that earlier. Like what's the point of me playing here? Oh, well, protect the center. center. Protect the center, yes, you're right. So basically you have like three pieces guarding that D5. D5 and, and E4 square. E4 square as well, yep. So um, as you can already tell, most of the pieces are already pointing toward the queen side. Okay. A after uh, bishop to G2, black's most common reply would be G6, pawn to G6. To also Fincheto. However, um, I, I saw this a lot in Europe, but I've heard that not many Americans play this. So I'll tell you guys the um, the more common situation in the in the states. You know, Americans are bad at chess. Okay. So I'll okay. teach you the, the, the shitty one. That's I'll, I'll teach you guys the shitty version. Oh. Knight to c6. Knight to c6. Knight to c6 basically tells your opponent. Okay, I'm not going for a win. I'm going for a draw. <laughs> because what, is, what does this do? It protects the pawn. If you're fighting someone, if you're, if you're guarding yourself, you're not going to win. The least you're going to do is like just both of you guys walk out, right? No one's going to get knocked out. Yeah. A better, a be, a better move would be, would be to Finchetto. To Finchetto, no matter how it looks, it's always aggressive. Or to play this to activate the bishop. But Americans tend to play defensive. That's why I'm so, um, that's why I'm so good here. It's only in chess where they will go on the defensive. Yeah. It's because there's no nukes here. And there's no, <laughs> <laughs> no, also like there's no oil, so they'll never they'll never be aggressive. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is the basic setup right here on white for the American wait English opening. English yeah. Opening, English opening.